Hello, in this video we will see what is meant by worst, best and average case complexities of algorithms. See, uh, when we say complexity, we have to define, we, that is actually the worst case complexity. But there is something like best case complexity of an algorithm, average case complexity of an algorithm and worst case complexity of an algorithm. We will see uh, all these terms with the help of an example. So, to explain all these three terms, I will take the example of linear search. So, linear search, if you don't know, is the process of finding a particular element in an array, starting from the lowest index of an array and traversing all the elements in serial and reaching at the uh, last index of the array, if the element is not seen in between. That is, if there is an array like this, uh, to find a particular element, to search for a particular element, we will start from the beginning of this array and we will go searching for the element in each and every index of the array in serial. Starting from this position to the right till we find the element. Okay. Uh, that can be the case that the element is not even present in the array. So, uh, that is linear search. The code will be something like this. That is for... Uh, i is equal to 0 i is equal to 0 to n if a of i is equal to equal to key print key found Uh, we can modify this code even further for uh, breaking out of the loop when the uh, key is found and all. I am not writing that. So, this is the very basic skeleton of that particular algorithm that is for i is equal to 0 to n or n is the total number of elements present in the array and key is the element that we are searching in the array. Uh, now, if a of i is equal to equal to key, for example, if the array is like 10, 13, 2, 4, 9, 7, 6. So, key is the, assuming that we are searching for 1. So, key is the element that we are searching, that is key is 1. So, if a of i is the uh, ith index of the array, index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. 5, 6, you know. So, if a of i, that is first 0th index of a is containing the key, we can print that key is found and we can break from the loop. We can write code for breaking from the loop whenever the key is found. Okay. I haven't written that. So, see the best case. So, the best case is when the element that you are searching for is present in the uh, very first index of the array. Something like that. That is if the element is present at this index. That is if you are searching for 1 and this element is 1. So, uh, we can say that that is the best case. That is without iterating through much of the uh, array elements, we could find out the key and we can break from the algorithm. So, if the element that you are searching for is present in the very first place or like that, we can say that uh, that is the best case complexity and we can say that that is order of 1 because we just have to do a constant number of uh, searching to find out the key. Or uh, best case is when you know that where exactly the key is present so that you don't even have to search. That is if you know that the key is present at third index, you can directly retrieve it from that third index. Or if it is in the first index itself, you can simply retrieve that from the very first index, the zeroth index. So in that case, that is the best case complexity with regard to linear search. So, the worst case happens when you have to traverse this entire array for getting the required element or even worse, the element is not even present in the array. For example, if the element that we are searching for is 6, you have to traverse the entire array or if it is 9, sorry, 10, the element is not even present in that array. Even if the element is not present in that array, to um, I mean to be confident about that that is to uh, ensure that the element is not even present in the array you have to traverse all the array elements in that isn't it so in that case you have to traverse all the n indices of the array 
and so the worst case complexity is the order of n that is the base curves worst case that is when you have to traverse all the elements of a array okay now we have one more thing that is the average case that is the that is the average uh, case that is when the element is present somewhere in between okay not uh, doesn't mean that the element is present in the middle of the array no not uh, this it happens when it is not in the best case or not the worst case that is element is somewhere else so to find the average case assume that the element is present in the i mean to find out the average case complexity we will find out the um, average of all the possible cases all the possible cases i mean so average cases if the element is present in the first index you have to perform how many searches only one search is needed if it is present in this index you just have to perform one search if this element is present in the second uh, position you have to do two searches if the element is present in the third position you have to iterate through this for loop thrice if the element is present in the fourth index you have to iterate to the for loop four times like that if the element is present in the n minus 1 in minus 1 index the for loop has to be executed n minus 1 times if the element is present in nth index the for loop has to be executed n times even if the element is not present in the array you have to traverse through all the uh, elements in the array then only you can say confidently that the element is not present isn't it in that case also you have to traverse all these n elements so again n it is not n plus 1 because the array contain just n elements okay and divided by the total number of cases that we examined so the total number of cases 1 to n plus this one so n plus 1 cases when you uh, divide this you will get something in terms of n some nearly n by 2 which is uh, and as i told you in the previous video when we uh, take the frequent take the complexity you have to take the highest power term of n without any coefficient so here the coefficient is 1 by 2 isn't it so you can throw that away so the complexity is order of n here okay so for linear search best case complexity is order of 1 uh, average case complexity is order of n and worst case complexity again is order of n so this is how we uh, define best case worst case and average case complexity so best case is uh, the case when the algorithm converges to the answer the fastest uh, worst case is when the algorithm take the, i mean that's the worst case the maximum time taken by the algorithm to run to its completion i should say yeah so average is the average time taken by the program to run to its completion best case is the minimum time taken by the program to run to its completion this is the maximum time an algorithm will take to run to its completion see when we uh, compare algorithms usually we will compare the worst case complexity because uh, worst case complexity is a guarantee that my, my algorithm will not take more than this amount of time to run to its completion but best case is not a guarantee this simply says that this is the minimum time taken by the program to run to its completion so worst case is a guarantee that my program will not take time beyond this so when we uh, analyze algorithms we will always take worst case complexity to compare different algorithms hope you understood thank you